And now it's time for Tinkerbell movie reviews to make you laugh, cry, and maybe even fly. Starting with Tinkerbell. You know what's kind of messed up? This fairy system. Tink is born and then immediately told to figure out her main personality trait, and then even after that, she has to get to work like the next day. What the f***? They get annoyed when Tinkerbell doesn't understand the concepts of their society, as if she wasn't literally born like the day before. Can't talk. I'm busy taking quizzes to find out what kind of fairy I am. It hurts to know that I would be a Tinker fairy. I don't like the sun, I don't like the water, I don't like animals, I don't like gardening, and I'm not mean. And what does that leave me with? A gosh darn Tinker fairy. Humiliating. I can't believe Tinkerbell caused the fairy industrial revolution. At Tinkerbell, tinker my life back together, please. Every time Tinkerbell makes an invention, a fairy loses their job. My favorite part about watching movies with friends is saying, that's you, about random characters. Did you have a crush on Silver Mist as a kid, or were you straight? I think the writers went forward in time and read my autobiography, then came back and wrote Terrence based on every guy I've had a crush on. Thinking about the time my sister cried while meeting Terrence in Disneyland because she was afraid of his hairy arms. The only reason why I'm not into Tink and Vidya's enemies to lovers potential is because Tinkerbell is such an annoying little and Vidya is actually my girlfriend. Sometimes Tink just makes me wanna this is a documentary about an extrovert. Could not relate. Oh, to be a fairy harvesting light and making dewdrops and helping baby birds fly and making music boxes for little girls and watching spring bloom in London. I nearly cried watching this because of how cute it was. I am so soft. The way I would literally lay down my life for these fairies. Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. Easily the most stressful Tinkerbell movie. I open mouth gasped three times. Honestly, Tinkerbell is a hazard, but whatever. Tinkerbell has main character energy, but in the way Tori Vega and Rachel Berry do. Tinkerbell needs to take some anger management classes. Not gonna lie, this gave me nightmares as a kid, and lifelong fears of Tinkerbell. Whoever decided to include the blood-curdling scream when Tink revealed the broken moonstone is the funniest person ever. Tink getting mad at Terrence for waking her up as if her alarm clock isn't the most annoying thing I have ever witnessed in my life. We should have had 90 minutes of Mr. Owl and Fairy Gary's therapy session, but no. Tinkerbell has five of the same exact outfits. Pulls out one of them. This one's not for traveling. If only I could be a little fairy in Pixie Hollow just doing my seasonal job collecting acorn caps and flower petals. Ugh. Literally would die to be a little fairy with a hot air balloon made of twigs and dandelion fluff, traveling the world with my glowbug friend. I would die for Blaze, and that's it. That's the review. Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. Yeah, no, I don't really do mud. But you're a garden fairy! <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Three movies in, and it is apparent that in every movie, Tinkerbell makes her friends risk their lives for her. Trigger warning. British child. The fairies have American accents, but they live right next to the UK. Okay, then. Nobody is ugly. Do not make fun of people's appearances. The dad. Exists. Well, darling, you are the only exception. Only real men experience a glow-up from being selfish scientific to picnicking with fairies and flower crowns. <laughs> where are the fairies when I need them to fix my relationship with my parents? Where? If you heard me cry when the fairies immediately forgave Vidya and all came to hug her, mind your own business. NVIDIA graphics card, best girl. This movie was the blueprint for the entire Cottagecore community. I would sell my left kidney for that scrapbook they made. The best talent a fairy can have is simply being a friend. Catch my 21-year-old self crying at this last line of a freaking fairy movie. This video was brought to you by... The Pixie Hollow Games. Who needs the Olympics when we got the Pixie Hollow Games? 
Thankful it gave us the bop, Dig Down Deeper by Queen Zendaya. Secret of the Wings. A lot of the movie is spent with characters gushing over how beautiful everything looks. This is straight to DVD. It doesn't look that good. I know the Tinkerbell franchise isn't one where you should get caught up in the continuity errors between films, but I'm going to anyway. Why is it that snow fairies are now separate from other fairies when they weren't in the first movie? Why did they make a big deal out of it when Tinkerbell and Snow Tinkerbell have identical wings, when every fairy has had identical copy-pasted wings before this movie? Why is Fairyland geographically different in every new movie? Am I asking too many questions in a franchise that clearly makes stuff up as it goes along? Clank single-handedly kept every single winter fairy in Pixie Hollow alive by pedaling a machine for probably over 12 hours, with no breaks, and no one even said thanks. Shaking my head. So, are the snow fairies just screwed because there's absolutely no way they could conveniently cross over to summer, like, ever, but the summer fairies can hang out anytime they want? Tink's invention became an apocalyptic weapon and had to be manually pushed around to follow Periwinkle the whole time. There's no way that could be mass-produced or made conveniently small, and nobody would ever run the risk of this same thing ever happening again. I'm sorry, but this doesn't seem very fair. E. Okay, is there a fairy jail? Because Tinkerbell should be in there for committing at least eight felonies in each film. Hello? 911? I'd like to report a missing person. Terrence has been completely written out of the Tinkerbell movies, and I miss him. Where did he go? Can y'all believe I'm the baby that laughed and gave birth to Periwinkle and Tinkerbell? Amazing. Anya Taylor-Joy and Dove Cameron as Tink and Perry when? This is one of those movies you are forced to watch in your aunt's car because there is nothing better to do, and you have to ride with her because you're going to school and you hate every minute of it. Oh, you're not familiar with this scenario? It's so specific and stupid it's never happened to you? Well then, lucky you. The animals are also cute, and then that CGI nightmare bobcat shows up. I firmly believe that the Pixie Hollow series is the only other set of films to come close to capturing the aura of Barbie movies. I'll say it, they stopped making Tinkerbell movies because they realized Pixie Hollow is a successful communist society, and Disney simply can't promote that. After watching it six times, I'm certain it could not be improved upon. Tinkerbell and the Pirate Fairy it only took them five movies to make one where the conflict wasn't caused by Tinkerbell's entitlement and inability to follow any rules threatening to cause catastrophic danger to the world. Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean, but this is the best pirate movie Disney's ever made. Pixie Dust, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. I'm a sucker for Tom Hiddleston singing. Oh, how high we will be! Cause the blue fairy dust surely packs a mighty wallop. A star for Mr. Hiddleston, a star for Zarina being actually cool as f and a star and a half for the cutest baby crocodile I have ever seen, and that I need a plushie of right now, immediately. Ugh, when they switch talents and dresses. Cinema. Orange is not my color! She's right. That was so foul! <laughs> Maybe Pixie Hollow should, like, get a prison or something? Oh well, this is still a good film, although does it make anyone else uncomfortable that Zarina has a normal looking face? She's like the only fairy that just has a normal face. Literally, why didn't any of the pirates just crush the fairies in their big hands? Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. Why is this called Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast when it is clearly Fawn's movie? Who names a baby hawk Hannah? Writing this with tears in my eyes. I don't have anything to say, but I would die for Gruff. This was way too intense and emotionally devastating to be a Tinkerbell movie. I cried. Where was the closure? Where is the seventh film? Please, this has broken me. I'm actually pretty sad that they stopped making these movies. They aren't perfect, but they never fail to make me feel better. Even though this one kind of ended on a sad note. I will never recover from this. I'm so so sad that I'm not a fairy. Just living in Pixie Hollow. Flying and fluttering around. <laughs> <laughs>